Okay, so our next type of factoring is by grouping. Again, we're going to skip the area model. Factoring by grouping can only be used with an even number of terms and uh, we're going to deal with four terms. When you get to Algebra 2 you'll deal with six terms and go from there. Uh, factoring by grouping. Okay, So the steps you're going to pair the terms You're going to divide out the GCF of each pair. Then you're going to write your answer. As the multiplication problem. It looks like this. One set of parentheses is going to have the common binomial and the other one's going to have what's left. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So we have four terms. I'm going to pair them up like this. And I'm going to look for the greatest common factor of each pair. So the greatest common factor of the first pair, 4 goes into 4 and 8. And both terms have an R. So I can take out a 4R. When I take out a 4R out of that first term, that leaves me a Q. And then 8 divided by 4 is 2 with no R's left. The second pair, I can divide both of those by 3, and I can't take a variable out. So my greatest common factor down here is plus 3. 3q three divided by uh, 3 is q. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So if you look, I have a common binomial. Both of those um, have q plus 2 with them. So my answer is q plus 2. And then what's left, after I take out this Q plus 2, what I have left is 4R plus 3. And if I distributed Q plus 2 times 4R plus 3, it would give me this right here, which is what I started with. Okay, B, I'm going to pair them up. This first pair, all I have in common between Rn plus 5n is the n. And when I divide out that n, I'm left with R plus 5. Now if you look at this other pair, I don't have anything that's common, but I could divide both of those by 1. So I'm going to divide out a plus 1. When I do that, nothing changes. I get R plus 5. Here are my common binomials. I'm going to bring that one out. That's the common binomial. And then what's left is n plus 1. Now sometimes, um, what, what I want you to notice about these common binomials is they are actually identical. q plus 2, q plus 2, r plus 5, r plus 5. In order for them to be common, everything has to be the same. So if we look at C, I'm going to pair them up. Out of this first pair, I can divide 3 and 15 by 3, and there's a P that's common between both terms. When I divide out 3P from the first term, I'm left with N. And when I divide out 3P from the second term, I'm left with 5. So in order for me to be able to pull out the common binomial, the other binomial has to be exactly n plus 5. So in order for it to be n plus 5, I have to divide out 
negative 4 here. So I'm going to divide out negative 4. Negative 4n divided by negative 4 is positive n. Negative 20 divided by negative 4 is positive 5. Now I have my common binomial of n plus 5. And then what's left is 3p minus 4. Okay. D. So the first term here, I can take out an x for the first pair. That leaves me 2y plus 7. So in order for me to have a common binomial of 2y plus 7, I have to divide by negative 1 to get the 2y plus 7 that matches the first one. So the common binomial is 2y plus 7, and what's left is x minus 1, not x minus 11. Okay. E. So I can take out a 2m from both of those terms. When I take a 2m out, I'm left with k minus 6. Now I want to show you something. I'm going to divide out 7 here. Oh, actually, sorry, negative 7. 42 divided by negative 7 is negative 6. Negative 7k divided by negative 7 is positive k. Now I could have done a, a 7, but these two are actually identical. This k is positive, so is this k over here. This 6 is negative, so is this 6 over here. So my common binomial is k minus 6, and what's left is 2m minus 7. Okay. First pair, I can take a c out, and that leaves me 1 minus 2d. Over here, I can take a 4 out. But you can see here, if I divide negative 4 by 4, that gives me a negative 1, and I need a positive 1. So I'm going to divide by negative 4, and that gives me negative 2d plus 1, which is identical to 1 minus 2d. And it doesn't matter which, which one you put. I'm going to put 1 minus 2d as my common binomial, and c minus 4 as what's left. And then last, g. Here I can take out a 3a. When I take a 3a out, that leaves me 5 minus b. Over here, if I take a 4 out, that would leave me b minus 5. So I want to divide by negative 4. 4b divided by negative 4 is negative b, which is the same as over here. Negative 20 divided by negative 4 is positive 5, which is the same over here. So my common binomial, 5 minus b, and what's left? 3a minus 4.